When we were kids, Christian and I went to Hershey Park annually. It was something that both of our families had made a family tradition every summer as a way to get outside and have some fun. We made a lot of memories over the span of our lives at Hershey, so obviously we have a lot of nostalgia that takes us back to some of our favorite things about this special place. These are some specific things that make Hershey Park such a nostalgic place for us to visit. Whenever I would visit Hershey Park as a kid, I would always take a ride on the Dry Gall Trail Road. This attraction is a fun, scenic ride, perfect for the whole family. You can also see and hear the train in many different locations. The train whistle adds so much charm as it can be heard all around the park, and its five long blasts signal the end of the park day. It also provides great views of surrounding attractions, especially Trailblazer and Stormrunner. I loved all the western theming throughout the ride, from the angry barber that would swing out the door to my favorite part, the cobra that would spray passengers with water as they passed by. Although these scenery pieces were recently removed, this ride is still iconic and brings nostalgia every time I ride. Every time my family decided it was time to go back home and end our day at the park, we would always stop by the kettle corn stand and buy one of those gigantic bags of popcorn to bring home with us. Of course, this is when Hershey Park had their older entrance prior to Chocolate Town, which in itself is something that will always be nostalgic now that it no longer exists. But I always remember being really sad the moment I knew we were going to leave the park, yet the kettle corn made me a little happier each time. I always loved watching the staff make the popcorn right in front of you, and the massive bag we would get seemed endless as a kid, so it only made the experience even more exciting. The kettle corn was something that we could bring home as a way to reflect about our day at Hershey Park. So now whenever I pass by that kettle corn stand and I smell the popcorn, I always get taken back to my childhood memories at the park, especially the ones where I was extremely upset to be leaving the park for the night. Many, including myself, overlook the boring kid attractions they have outgrown, but I still have a great appreciation and nostalgia for the many kiddie rides around the park. From Busy Bees to Tiny Tracks to Pony Parade, there are so many options to choose from. I even remember the pre-laugh track days when the Mini Train, Pony Parade, and Granny Bugs were in its current spot. I loved riding the rides in that area, along with the nearby fun slides. Many of these rides have changed locations over the years, but I still remember all the good times I had riding them. I appreciate them even more so that I have operated them, and I can give the same experience I once had to today's kids visiting the park. My experiences at Kitty Rides have come full circle, and I have lots of positive memories riding them in my earlier years. One of the first things you hear as you are entering the park, whether it was the old entrance or the Chocolate Town entrance, is the organ from the carousel. The carousel has been creating fun memories for people of all ages for over a hundred years, so it should be no surprise that this attraction is included in this video. Honestly, I feel like I don't ride the carousel enough, and I believe it's one of the best ways to end a summer night at the park. It's something that I can still experience no matter how old I get, and I think that's one of the reasons why this attraction, just like other carousels out there, is so nostalgic. I mean, the music from the organ should instantly get you excited for your day at the park, since it's always one of the first things you pass before going deeper into the park. Hershey Park does a fantastic job at restoring this historic ride and its horses and carriages every year so that it can continue to bring families sweet memories for years to come. My next nostalgic ride is Super Duper Looper. This was my first ever roller coaster with an inversion, as it is for so many others, and I would ride this almost every visit. The line would frequently be short and my siblings and I would run straight up to the station. The loop was always the highlight for me, but the tunnel was also a favorite as I would scream my head off through it. Another thing I remembered riding when I was younger was that the brakes would slam the train to a stop and jerk your head forward, which I thought was funny. This is no longer a problem with the addition of the magnetic braking system, but it's still something I oddly remember. I'm sure many of you watching will agree that Super Duper Looper is a historic ride that brings lots of nostalgia back to your early Hershey Park visits. As many of you probably already know, you get free access to Zoo America, a North American wildlife park and zoo. To me, it seems like a lot of people usually skip over this attraction, but as nature lovers, my family had always enjoyed stopping in to see the exhibits. My personal favorite exhibit has always been the Great Southwest. The low light section has always been so cool to me, but what really gets the nostalgia for me is the circular shaped desert section with the roadrunners and the tortoises. I honestly don't know what exactly it is about this part of the zoo, maybe it's the smell or just seeing the animals themselves but I always find it to be super nostalgic. 
I love seeing the owls, tortoises, and lizards in there too. They always seem to be fairly active. My family would even visit Zoo America during Hershey Park's off-season when we were season pass holders too, so it was somewhere I went to year-round as a child. The rides, attractions, food, and atmosphere, combined with our many visits over the years, makes Hershey Park a tremendously sentimental place for us, and we're sure it is for those of you who have been visiting the park for many years as well. Go ahead and share what aspects or memories of Hershey Park you think are the most nostalgic to you in the comments below, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to be a Hershey Coaster enthusiast just like us. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you back here soon.